general cosine px dx over square root of e in exponent sine px. So this is a friendly integral. So first of all, uh, let uh, substitute. Let us substitute uh, sine px. So let me substitute sine pi x is equal with u. And if we are differentiated both sides of this equation, of this substitution, we can get, but this is a derivative here, is uh, we can apply a chain rule. First of all, derivative of pi x is just a pi. And derivative of uh, sine x is a cosine, is a cosine uh, and cosine pi x. dx is equal to the du. And now, because here I have a cosine pi x dx, I want to know this uh, cosine pi x dx in what relationship is going to be with du. So I am subtracting everything by pi. If we are subtracting everything by pi, this is going to be cos pi x dx is equal to the du divided by pi. And now, instead of the cosine pi x, pi x uh, dx, I can, we can uh, substitute we can uh, substitute uh, du over pi over pi so let me write here and here is a square root of uh, e in exponent u but this we can we can uh, uh, factor one over pi so we can factor one over pi integral du and instead of this radical we can write in exponential form which is going to be e one and a half time u. And now since we have a here we can uh, substitute again. So let me use again a substitution. We can uh, substitute again and instead of the one and a half u we can uh, substitute with v. We are taking a differential both sides. Uh, one and a half uh, du is going to be equal with dv. But I need to know du if I'm multiplying everything by 2. So du is going to be 2 times dv. And now instead of the, of the du, we are applying a 2 times dv. 2 times dv. But here is 1 over pi. So we shouldn't forget this one here. And everything is divided by e in exponent v. But this one we can we can factor this two in the front and it's two over pi integral and this e in a v we can write e minus an exponent v dv so that's what we have right now however we can make another substitution so let me make another substitution here okay we can substitute now minus v is equal with t and if we are uh, taking the differential both sides, minus dv is going to be equal to the dt. But if just the dv is going to be equal to minus dt. And now here what we have here, let me write a 2 over pi and I'm going to make a substitution for t. But instead of the dv, instead of uh, e minus let me write this e instead of minus v we write t but instead of t we write minus dt and here we can just factorize this minus in the front and this is going to be equal to the minus 2 over pi integral et dt so this is elementary integral now and this is going to be equal to the minus 2 over pi and integral of et is et plus c and now we are going to to go back in our substitution we already know t was equal to the minus v so this one is a minus 2 over pi e in a minus v plus c but v was equal v v we substituted one and a half u so let's go back here and instead of v we are going to go back in in with the u uh, variables and this is instead of minus v is uh, e in, in exponent minus 1 over 2u plus c but because this is a negative here we can put everything of this as a denominator and we can write minus 2 is divided by pi 
e in exponent uh, 1 over 2, so I'm making a positive, u plus c. But as we saw before, we are going in original uh, variables because uh, we substituted uh, sine pi x is equal with u. And now instead of the u, we are going to substitute here our original variables, sine pi x. So e in exponent 1 and a half and a sine pi x and this is a plus c. So this is uh, the result of this uh, indefinite integral. So this we can write as a minus 2 plus c and everything was uh, divided by uh, pi time e in exponent 1 and a half sine px pi x. So this is the result of this integral.